the OG Mach 1 with an 0304 Mach 1 shaker scoop. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. I'm just taking a video. You're good, man. Appreciate that. So we just thank you Godin. <laughs> Alright, so we just left the car show. It was a pretty good turnout. Lots of cool cars, lots of classic American muscle. That Mach 1. Oh, that sound sounded so good. So it was a pretty good time, but we didn't stay there for long. Mostly because I have something exciting waiting for me at home and oh man, I just can't wait. I can't wait so bad that I'm recording. <laughs> As you can see here, I have my airlift performance package right here. I am super excited to unbox this. I don't know what I'm gonna see. I don't know what I'm gonna find. I know nothing about air suspension, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh man, this is crazy. It's been a long time coming and we are seriously one step closer to bagging the Mach 1. This is crazy. I can't, I can't, oh. Okay, what is this? A little letter? Okay, okay, let's check this out. Hey man, been subscribed to your channel since 100 subscribers. Dang, dude, that's crazy. You're the real OG right there. I really enjoy your content. I came across your channel after getting my Mach 1 back in October of 2017. It had 35,000 miles on it and completely stock when I bought it. That's crazy. My birthday's in October and I bought my Mach 1 with 37,000 miles and completely stock as well. That's awesome, man. I just got done putting air suspension on my Mach 1 this winter and I am loving it. Hope these rear bags help you on getting closer to your goals. Keep putting out the awesome content. Eric. P.S. My old 2004 GT is actually on American Muscle Suspension page. Aw, oh, dude, lucky. I've been trying to get on a calendar on a website. I'm actually on ESR Wheels website, but I mean, that's nowhere compared to American Muscles. I mean, that's awesome, man. Instagram at DSG underscore mock underscore one. Make sure you guys follow him and check him out. Barely tall enough to mount that poster, but Eric, looks like it's just you and me, buddy. And man, that looks killer. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, buddy. But basically, if you guys haven't caught on yet, I actually bought these bags from a subscriber named Eric. He basically reached out to me saying, hey bro, I love your channel and I actually have these extra set of rear bags. Are you interested in buying them? And I was like, yeah, bro. So he sold it to me at a very discounted price and I'm super grateful. But basically the story behind these is that he got an extra set from Airlift on accident and uh, well, he just had them in the garage and he figured why not sell them and they're basically brand new. I mean, they are brand new. Man, this is crazy and whew, brother, look at that, dude. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I know nothing about air suspension, nothing about installing them, like nothing at all. Like I'm definitely like a noob when it comes to this. Woo! Brother, like everything is definitely in here. I got all the wires, all the hoses, all this and all that. Like saw package, like brand new, like seriously. Like, this guy saved me so much money. But these little hoses, these little nuts right there, the little clamps and everything, this is kind of like what scares me about the installation because I'm going to be doing it myself. I don't want to pay a shop for like 500, 600 bucks just to install it, so I'd rather learn myself and just, I don't know, I think it's cool. And I know some of you guys are probably wondering, okay, um, that's cool, you have the rear bags, but don't you need the front bags and then don't you need like the management system and all that? And while that is a great question, that is definitely on their way. And today, well, by the time you're watching this, it's Tuesday and the bags should be here on Thursday or Friday. So I'll have everything, the management, the front, the rears, I mean, I'll have 
everything. And my Mach 1 has been definitely scraping more than usual. And look at this, my front lip is taking all the damage. I only saw this about a month ago and it's already falling off. What is this? And coming on to the rear of the Mach 1, as you can see here, my rear fenders are rolled, but they're not rolled all the way. So they're not flush like that. They're kind of sticking out like that. And because of that, I noticed that it's kind of taking off a little bit off my tire. As you can see that line right there and it completely goes. And here's an example right there. If we can take that off. Yep. It's coming off just a little bit. And it's only on the driver's side, which is weird because you go to the passenger side and we're set to go, man. That's weird. So I already went ahead and purchased my fender roller. I have everything set. I'm just waiting for the actual airlift parts to come into place. And then, buddy, oh man. We're gonna be installing that thing ASAP. I'm not even gonna lie, it might take me like two or three days because I don't know what the crap I'm doing, but definitely gonna be a good time and a good learning experience. But anyways, guys, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. So I'm thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment, let me know what you guys thought. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. And I hope you're as excited as I am for that airlift installation on my 2003 Mach 1. But anyways, guys, thanks so much and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace! <laughs>